Hi everyone, welcome along. Today we're going to have a go at painting some beautiful freshwater fish because their scales are just so brilliant to paint in watercolour. So grab your paints and let's get started. I think fish are a really great thing to draw in watercolour um, or paint in watercolour even. And yeah, I don't, I haven't done many on the channel so I thought this would be a great opportunity. So I'm just creating a sort of curved shape and then the head of the fish, little mouth, and then sort of curving under. I've chosen to, to paint a, a bleak, which is a freshwater fish that's particularly beautiful with its silvery, silvery scales. And then looking for that fin. And then various, various other fins. But I'm hoping that you will be able to use this tutorial to apply it to all sorts of fishes or fish. Okay, and then for the sort of business end, get the gills in there, and there's a large round eye. But that that should do us. That should do us. Okay, so um, like I said, this is the first time I've painted anything like this on this scale. So I'm sort of experimenting as I go to. What I really do want to bring out is that sort of range of colours and the reflection of the fish. So I'm going to be using a sort of blue and brown or sort of like a blue and gold palette I suppose to get the range of colours in it. So I'm going to begin, I've got a shadow mix here and a yellow ochre here and I've got a size 6 brush and I'm going to start across the top of the fish just draw painting a line And then I clean my brush off and what I want to start doing is to start sort of dappling that colour down. I re we really need to be making everything of the unpainted space on this tutorial. So more water on the brush and it's going to, the, the sort of texture of the gills are going to stop I mean, scales are going to stop at the gills. Okay, so I'm now going to bring in a bit of the shadow mix. I'm just going to sort of dot it all over. You can see how quickly it all dries as well. So I've left that top edge quite untouched, and I'm just now going to bring more water down and now I'm going to find the bottom edge of the fish and draw that colour upwards. Now I'm going to take my size 2 brush and I'm going to just take Payne's Grey and I want to paint in the top line of this fish. Now you can see how it, it blended nicely. It's not quite wet enough there so what I can do is take my wet brush and just do that but I'm not going to sort of fuss about with it too much more. But now I'm going to use Payne's Grey as my my new colour and I'm going to start draw, painting in some slightly more sort of um, directional dotted lines of scales and the hope is is that this a lot of this is still a little bit damp but I also like the idea that it's starting to dry a little bit and so we're going to 
I start to see these lines of dabs just a little more clearly than we would have done with the with the first round and I can see that these stripes need to sort of broaden a bit in the middle for the roundness of the body it's funny I'm very good at the roundness of the body of a sort of land mammal but with fish it's, I'm sort of quite new to this so Okay, so you can definitely see that the water now is drying quite nicely on the fish. So I will just finish this last few lines of scales. And then I'm just going to find the bottom edge with slightly less strong uh, Payne's Grey. I'm going to go back to uh, my yellow ochre and I'm going to paint with my size 2 brush some stripes of colour on the tail. And then moving quite swiftly, I'm going to take a bit of a mix of this and just paint along the edge with the hope that it'll travel up these ridges that I've painted in. If they need a little bit of help, you can help it along a, a tiny bit, but you don't want to overwork it because it wants to have a lovely loose feel. I will send a little bit out that way as well. Well, this is going well, I like it. Okay, so we're going to just repeat that technique for our other fins. So we want the unpainted space creating those stripes on the fin. And then I'm actually going to do it on both ends. Oh, this is very satisfying to paint. I'm enjoying this a lot. Okay, this is looking nice. Um, so we've got one more here. Obviously these ones that overlap into the, the body of the fish, it, it is pretty much dry now, all the scales and things, but that is something to keep in mind when you're painting that in. And we'll go back in and do a little bit of extra detail on that when we get there. So we haven't really spent any time thinking about the head. So I want to start again with my yellow ochre and I'm just going to sort of create the contours of the face using the yellow ochre first. 
using the unpainted space to your advantage. Not worrying about the eye just yet, so now I've got my shadow mix. pleased with that and now I think it's time for everything to dry and for us to just uh, chill for a minute because that was a lovely very fluid painting session that I really really enjoyed um, so yeah let's let it dry and we can just add the last little bits okay so I'm going to be using the Payne's grey in a more concentrated manner for the the remaining bits of this fish um, so we'll start with the with the eye I've left a tiny bit of unpainted space there. I feel like I want an even smaller brush. So I've gone down to two tenths and then, I mean, four tenths even. Here comes a little bit of a circling of the eye. So I left it just so it was the tiniest bit still, still damp because I quite like the idea of even the detail bits having a little bit of softness to them. Okie dokie. So what I thought would be fun is just on the top edge to paint some some dabs of texture in that concentrated Payne's grey. So I'm just doing a, like a diagonal dab of the brush. because I think that's really going to highlight the the lightness of the rest of the fish. Oh, you must forgive, my dogs are barking a little bit. Right, well, we'll let that drown. I'll just go and tell them that we're filming and it's not really on to bark right now. Right, I, I reasoned with Crumble and he's keeping quiet. So um, what I'm doing here is I'm just taking a little bit of Payne's Grey and running it along the edge of the fin and then these ones down on the front we sort of see them just overlapping up over the body so we can just paint up over over the body uh, now I think that looks pretty fun, I'm, I'm pleased with that. Um, and the only thing that I think might be really fun to add to the sort of loose watercolour nature of this, and I'm, as some of you might think I'm being sacrilegious here, but I want to do some splatters over the top in the water, so I'm going to. So, just a few. There we go, that wasn't too bad, was it? <laughs> I'm going to let that dry and there is our lovely freshwater fish. Thanks so much for watching, I really hope you've enjoyed that one. I want to say a massive thank you to our patrons for their support because that support enables us to keep creating videos like these that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed it then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you got on with that one. And of course if you want to subscribe just hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss another video. Until next time, bye!